So this is our first Earth Day science experiment. We are going to see what happens when we add food coloring to the water in a flower vase. So here I've got three white hydrangeas. You can see I've already cut the stems really short and I cut them at a 45 degree angle. And that's because I want to make the surface area of this vase as big as I can so it has as much opportunity to suck up that water as possible. So I don't want to just cut it straight, I want a 45 degree angle. All right, now I'm just gonna take some food coloring and I'm gonna put 20 drops in each glass. Mix it up. And I'm gonna put my flowers back in there. Mix that up. For my last one, I think I want purple, and I don't have purple food coloring. So what I'm going to do is mix 10 drops of red with 10 drops of blue. So I've got all of my three flowers in my vases, and we're going to wait for a few hours and see what happens. So I'll come back um, at the very end of the day and we'll see how it's doing. But I'm also gonna come back every few hours so we can check in on them. All right, I'll see you then. It's time to go see if that experiment is working with the flowers and the food coloring. I wanna see if that color has taken hold. It's been about three hours now. I've gone ahead and I've put them over here at our garden nursery, so let's check in. It looks like, I can't tell really if it's reflecting the color or if the color is actually sinking in. I think it's sinking in, especially on these bottom petals. So it looks like we have some experimental success. Um, I'll come back in another three hours and let you guys know how it's going. So I thought that while we were waiting for our experiment to finish, we could go ahead and do an update on the Lambeth Garden. It is looking pretty good. I want to show you, remember we planted a little bit over a month ago, and the plants are doing well. So here we've got some broccoli, and they're a little bit, they're really leafing out there, so that's looking good. Our lettuce. This is the light green. The chives, they're shooting up. I'm really happy with how the tomato plants are doing. They really grew a lot just in the last few days. So they're reaching those lights. Down here we have our giant sunflowers and they're struggling a little bit. I think they'll be okay once we get them transplanted but they just popped up and ran out of room. So they outgrew our containers. Lesson learned for next year. And over here, another plant doing really well is our marigolds. The reason we're planting these marigolds is because they'll attract pollinators um, and other healthy insects. So bees, butterflies, all of that to help our plants thrive and our garden do really, really well. So even though they're not vegetables, they'll definitely help our vegetable garden out. So that's where we're at. And then today, I thought we could give our plants a little bit of a snack. I thought we could make some compost tea. So if you don't know what compost is, this is what it looks like. Let's check out inside. Here it is, this is our compost. Now you might be thinking, Katie, that's a bag of dirt. And you are not quite right. You're a little bit right, but not quite. Compost is dirt that has a lot of nutrients for plants. So it's made out of things like dry leaves, um, straw, and then a lot of fruit skins, um, wet leaves, everything in there to get all the different chemicals that plants need to grow, like nitrogen. Um, so you mix all those things together and then they decompose over time. So that means they fall apart, they degrade. Um, and they become a really healthy soil for your plants. So that is our compost, and today we're gonna make some compost tea. So we have our bucket of water, it's about three gallons of water, and then I took my compost, and I put a few handfuls in it into my tea bag, or my pillowcase. So there it is, right there. And now, I'm just gonna close up my pillowcase, 
And we're just gonna dunk it into the water. You wanna wait about a day for that to be ready. Uh, so once it's ready, I'll be back and we can go ahead and get watering. Compost has been sitting for a little while and I think it's time to go ahead and get using it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is mix it up with this spoon so that we can get some air into that water. It's called aerating. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, and just take out one cup, and we're gonna pour the water down into the base of that. And you can see there's some holes on the bottom of each cup so that the compost tea can just soak up there and go directly to the roots. Here's my pitcher. And I'm just gonna fill it up and give it some water. So there we go. It's all watered with some compost tea. And that's that. We've done it. We've made a tasty snack for our little plant babies. Um, and now, I think let's check in on the progress with our flower dyeing. So here they are. And you can definitely see how those flowers are picking up that color. Now I can't remember which one, of the, I think this one was supposed to be purple and for some reason that one is not picking up the color as well. I'm not sure what's going on there. But the blue and the red are definitely getting some colorful tinges. So that's really exciting. Um, I will check back in with you guys later and show you the final update. But until then, see ya. It's Thursday, April 23rd, so the day after Earth Day. And it is time to check on our flowers. They've officially been in those glasses for 24 hours now. So here they are. And they are looking good, uh, especially these two. You can really tell this one is blue now. Last night it was looking pretty green, but that blue is popping through. And this one, you can definitely see that pink. So that's really exciting. It was barely pink when I left last night. And even this that little guy, you can kind of see that blue there. It's still struggling. I wonder what it is about combining blue and purple, or blue and red that made it so hard to soak up the color. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. But there you go. That is our Earth Day science experiment. Um, officially our Earth Day activities are over, so I will see you next Monday with another video and another packet. Bye.